I'm going to tell you a hard, life-changing truth that you may not want to hear. <laughs> you are not who you think you are. I know it's difficult to let go of everything you've ever believed about, well, everything, but sorry, that's just reality. You were born into a human body with certain characteristics, male or female genitalia, a particular color of skin, hair and eyes, maybe a medical condition or mental condition that you define yourself by. You were given a name to identify yourself by. You grew up being taught how to live in this world and programmed by your society's popular culture of the time. But none of these things, sex, race, culture, none of these things define you. They are not who you really are. Let's talk about culture, for example. A few of the top American pop songs of 2023. Flowers by Miley Cyrus. Kill Bill, SZA. Opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of how they deal with a breakup, but both rooted in the despair of losing a romantic relationship. I enjoy both these songs, but it's art. It's meant to represent aspects of the 3D reality that we as a whole tend to accept. Breaking up is hard. But as I sing and dance along to these songs, I remember that I don't need to accept every idea represented in this art. For example, breaking up can be soul crushing. I don't need to accept this in order to enjoy the art as commentary on the beliefs of the mass consciousness. A spiritual leader who I respect very much, Marianne Williamson, has pointed this out, and it always sticks with me. Just because a relationship ended or changed form doesn't mean it was a failure. We come together for a certain period of time, and when the lessons have been learned, we appear to separate and move on. I say appear to separate because as souls, we are all eternally connected, but that's advanced stuff. I get it. No one teaches you this stuff in school. We're indoctrinated into a certain set of beliefs, often based on religious traditions. And although religion in itself can be a wonderful thing, it's often rooted in a desire to control us, tell us which behaviors are appropriate and which are inappropriate. The leaders fear that if we knew the real truth, we would run wild. To function, a society needs an aspect of control, rules, laws, and they don't think we can handle things if they don't keep us in line. They're right, mainly because that's what they've taught us, self-fulfilling prophecy. You get what you expect to get. By the way, check out my Law of Attraction playlist. Sweet. Darling, love, fellow soul, if you've discovered this video, we share a deeper connection. You are not merely a human trudging through life, trying to follow the rules and stay out of trouble, working your butt off to pay the bills. That's not who you are. You are an eternal soul here to learn, play, experiment, grow, Enjoy the physical senses. Other than the fact that we have forgotten who we are and collectively agreed to the rules of society, we have shrunk down to fit into these lame 3D bodies with five extremely limited senses. We chose this, but in comparison to our limitless souls, these bodies are like tricycles and our souls are like luxury jets. And have you heard of soul contracts? Subjects undergoing past life regression describe soul meetings in which life challenges are planned for our future incarnations. We choose to experience challenges, kind of like a video game. What fun would a game be if it was too easy? That would be boring. You can think I'm weird, gullible, whatever you want, free will. My third grade teacher used to shame me for being shy and not speaking up. Hey, look, Mrs. Atwood, I'm doing it. I'm speaking up. This is what I believe. Does believing these things make life challenges easier? The physical struggles are real, at least as far as my 3D senses can tell. But yes, believing these things does make 
life easier, knowing that I'm an eternal soul who is in the process of learning to harness my power by overcoming challenges on the earth plane does make life easier. Next time you listen to a breakup song, consider this. Maybe you planned this challenge, made a soul contract with this ex that he, she, they would sleep with someone else after you got married. They played this part perfectly. You felt all the human emotions and learned from the experience. You say, thank you, soul friend. I'll be your antagonist in the next life, if that will help you grow. So the relationship was a success. Feel the feelings and let go. Open your mind to the possibilities. Life is so much more fascinating when you do. Cheers to more life challenges we will successfully overcome in our quest to wake up and remember who we really are.